There you go. Oh, oh. <laughs> a vernier caliper can measure length more precisely than a ruler. It can also measure external length, internal length, or depth. There are three steps to take when measuring using the vernier caliper. Here is an example measuring the external length of an object. First, ensure that the narrow section of the outside jaws are firmly in contact with what you are measuring and apply a constant but slight pressure to keep jaws in place. Then, find the largest number on the main scale that is exactly lined up with or to the left of the zero mark on the vernier. Since it is better to work with SI units, don't use the inches scale, so the measurement will be in millimeters. In this case, the measurement is 33 millimeters. Now, find the leftmost position where a line on the vernier lines up exactly with the line on the main scale. Then read the number on the vernier, which is in tenths of a millimeter. In this case, the measurement is 0 0.80 millimeters. Finally, add the two numbers you get together, keeping in mind that the vernier reading is in the tenths to get your final reading. Don't forget that every vernier caliper has some uncertainty and record that as part of your measurement. For this caliper, the uncertainty is 0 0.02 millimeters. So the final measurement is 33.80 plus or minus 0 0.02 millimeters. Measure the internal length by using the other set of jaws. In this case, the main reading is 28 millimeters, while the vernier is 0 0.10. So the measurement for this is 28.10 plus or minus 0 0.02 millimeters. Alright. To measure, measure the depth of the object, use the depth probe. First, place the edge along the object's path. Then push down the probe until it hits the bottom. Then, now you can read the vernier as usual. Okay.